Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing an updated skincare routine because this is something that you guys asked me for. I do have two different skincare routines which what I decided to do was kind of show you guys a get on ready with me skincare edition and morning routine. I don't know. I'm going to make them two separate videos though for sure because they are a little bit different. Honestly they could be the same but my makeup or my skincare routine is a little bit more different whenever I do have makeup on because I um, have to take off my makeup and stuff like that and make sure that my skin is really really clean so I do a little bit of extra steps. The first thing that I always do is I take off my makeup with some kind of a cleansing balm. The reason why I do a cleansing balm or cleansing oil versus like uh, makeup removing wipes or like the makeup eraser or makeup just makeup remover because I used to do like I still have this because I, I use this from time to time for like little tiny details on my makeup this is the micellar water from Garnier I used to love this stuff because it does take off makeup really really well but what I started noticing because I'm trying to stay forever young is that I was pulling on my skin a lot especially like with makeup wipes I know that like in the skincare community makeup wipes is like a big like no-no and honestly I rarely use makeup wipes like I have some I have the Neutrogena makeup wipes which are really good wipes I only use those now for like if I'm doing like three looks one palette type of video because I have to take off my eye makeup but I'm try I try to be very very gentle because I don't want to tug too much on my eyes because they're very delicate very sensitive very thin it's the thinnest skin on your whole entire body that's the reason why I don't use makeup wipes anymore and the reason why I stopped using these this was because honestly I felt so wasteful using the little makeup pads I know that they have like reusable makeup pads and stuff like that but I've yet to find them I don't know where they're at Please like tell me where I can find them down below because I desperately need some because I really do feel bad using like makeup like little cotton rounds and throwing them away. I do like the cleansing oil too. Um, this one is the one from 4th Ray Beauty. This is the BDF cleansing oil and I do like this one but I feel like I have to use so much of it to really really get all my makeup off and like you have to make sure that your skin is dry when you first use this so you can put it on dry skin like right now I'll put it on my face and make sure it's not wet and then you wet it and it gets kind of milky but I feel like I still have to like clean around my eyes and stuff like that like it's it's good I would give this like an 8 out of 10 like I think it's pretty good cleansing oil um, and it's pretty affordable too but I just feel like I have to use so much of it so a product that I really really like a lot is the pharmacy beauty green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm so this is actually what I transitioned from when I went from the little like makeup removers so this is what it looks like in here so um, it has a little spatula here and then you grab the, the makeup balm and you put it all over your face pretty much and wet it and it gets kind of milky and then you can use your cleanser so I've had to switch my cleanser over I was using the AM to PM from um, fourth ray beauty which I really really like that one a lot when I was living in Florida but now I live in Missouri and it's a lot different my skin has changed a lot so I had to switch over to the fourth ray cloud bank milky cleanser and I really do like this I just kind of missed the AM to PM because it felt like it just really cleaned my skin well without making it squeaky. This just almost makes it feel like there's still like a layer on my skin. I've also used a few other cleansers too but the, this one right now is the one that I've really been obsessed with as you can see I've used quite a bit of it. And one thing that I have been obsessed with which I kind of wanted to go back to using my Clarisonic but I just hate buying the brushes because I don't know about you guys but I feel like the brushes for me on the Clarisonic only really last like two months instead of three months and you have to replace them so constantly and they're so expensive it's $30 for a brush and on top of that like the machines are already expensive like I think it's like what the cheapest one is like 150 or something like that so it's a really expensive brush it does a great job don't get me wrong because it really does clean everything and like really decongest my skin I just hated the fact that I had to replace it often so then I went and I switched over to the Ferrero Ferrero whatever it's a little tiny um, silicone like cleansing 
apparatus and I, I tried it for a week and my skin got so congested. It was gross. I just felt like I wasn't doing anything and I took it back to Sephora and I told her, I was like, hey, I bought this like a week and a half ago. I hate it. I've tried it and I absolutely hate it. And she was like, what was wrong with it? And I told her my skin feels more congested than when I, before I started. And I just prefer to buy my Clarisonic brush. And she was like, oh yeah, we get that a lot. No shame. Um, if you like the for real thingy, that's all you. So ever since then, I was kind of skeptical about like a silicone cleansing thing. But I've used the PMD before, which is a personal microderm breeder. And that kind of helps get rid of dead skin and stuff like that. And they have a bunch of other products too. And one of them, which is an item that we got last month in our BoxyCharm, is the PMD cleansing brush cleansing tool I don't remember what it's called but this is what it looks like it's a hundred bucks it has two different sides on here it has the little silicone side yes it is pink I hate the fact that it's pink but I'm over it I don't even care anymore so it has the pink side right here um pink side the brush side right here that has these like deeper ones for like really really congested skin or like the harder to reach area so you have the bigger ones and then you have the smaller ones that's just going to be more gentle or clean and then on the back side you have these little ridges that it's really supposed to be really good to like massage the skin and stuff like that but I honestly don't care for it as much because I have other like tools like rollers and stuff like that which I will show you guys in my morning skincare routine so this has four different speeds so it has the gentler speed which is gonna it's really good for like daily cleansing then it has a more intense speed which I like to use for whenever I have makeup on because I feel like it's gonna really decongest my skin then it has this pulsating one I don't know if you guys can hear that but that's supposed to be the massaging side so this is supposed to massage your skin and then it has a faster massage that's like a really fast pulsating so the sucky thing about this the sucky thing about this is that you have to go through all the speeds like if I go if I turn it on by mistake I have to go through all the speeds to turn it off so that's kind of annoying other than that I have been obsessed with this thing which I'm surprised because again I did not like the other silicone one I don't know what it was maybe it was the size of it because this one's smaller so I can really reach around my face while the bigger one I really couldn't um I don't know but I really really like this so after I do this um, which I will show you guys me applying it and I'm gonna rinse it off in the shower and like clean my face in the shower but after I do this then I just wet the PMD put a pump of this on here I rub it into all the bristles and then I just go into my face and I want to wash it for about like a minute so that's usually what's recommended with like these kind of cleansing tools so that's pretty much what I do to cleanse my face so we're gonna go ahead and take some of the green clean so this is what it looks like I like the fact that this one the bigger one has a spatula the small one does not so you have to dip your fingers in it which I don't really care for that but anyway so I'm gonna show you guys how it works. I've showed you guys this before in a BoxyCharm video, but I'm gonna show you guys again, um, just in case if you guys are new and don't know about this, you can already see my makeup melting off. It's so nice and it's so gentle, which is what I love about it. So you're not gonna cause like wrinkles or anything. And then what I tend to do is on my eyelashes, I just kind of hold it there for like a minute and then I just kind of gently rub down. And that's gonna help with the mascara because this mascara I don't think it's a tubing mascara I try to be very gentle around the eyes and this is just so slick which is what I like about it I feel like the cleansing oil it's too thin so it's almost like watery so you can't really get that slip so you have to be a little more aggressive with it so then after you get all that makeup pretty much melted away you're gonna go ahead and wet the face and it's gonna turn into this milky consistency and then you just kind of like keep rubbing it off or just like splashing it off rinsing it off and then i'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my face so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do and then i'll be right back to show you guys the rest of my steps so i'm fresh out the shower and as you guys can see my skin it looks pretty clean um i will say the thing i love about this balm is i feel like it's really really moisturizing so after i take off my makeup and cleanse like it doesn't feel drying at all so I do like that over the fourth ray one after I cleanse my skin 
with my PMD in the shower because like I said I don't like water dripping on my chest. I'm really weird about that. I'm going to take a cotton round. I just have to make sure that my face is 100% clean. So this is actually, I think it's called the Keep It Keep It Clear, but it's from Fourth Ray and I put it in this Origins bottle because this Origins bottle has a pump. So I feel like I can control it versus like the kind that is like this where it just drips out. Like I feel like the Fourth Ray toners tend to like drip out a lot. So Putting it in this gives me a lot more control. So I'm gonna, it has two different sides to it. So this is like the fuzzier side and this is like the denser side. So I always use the denser side because I don't like having little fuzzies all over me. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I start off on my forehead because it's usually the area where I tend to like miss some makeup as you can see right there. And it's just because I'm trying not to get my hair wet because I don't wash my hair every single day because my hair would be like the Sahara Desert if I did. And I always get like in here, like by my ear really well too, because um, sometimes I tend to put makeup like all the way, like inside of my hair. And also on my neck, it is recommended to always do things on your neck in upwards motions. So you guys can see all the extra makeup that came off on this little cotton pad. So that's why I use the cotton pad with this toner. I like this one because it has salicylic acid in it, so it's gonna really help to make sure that my skin doesn't get congested. It kind of like gently exfoliates my skin too. So whenever I wear makeup, it is it is a little bit more harsh, I guess you could say, than like the waterfall toner from Fourth Ray, which I also have. That one um, is a lot more gentler, but I just really, really like this one. I love how this stuff smells too. And I've always really liked this toner, so that's probably one of my favorite toners from Fourth Ray. And then, you don't have to do this, it's just an extra added step, um, just because again, I'm just extra. So this is the Facial Radiance Pads from First Aid Beauty. These help to exfoliate, tone, and brighten the skin. So I just really like to make sure that I don't break out whenever I wear makeup, which is why I do all these extra steps that are very unnecessary. And you can use these every single day if you want to, but I only use them like once in a while, mostly whenever I wear makeup. So again, this has two different sides here, it has the little one with the ridges and then the smooth side. So this is gonna give you a lighter like feel on the skin. So if you don't wanna exfoliate your skin every single day, I would use this side. Um, and if you want a little extra exfoliation, I would use the side with the ridges, which is the side we're gonna use. And I'm just gonna go over that. And you honestly you could like do this and not do the toner but again i'm just extra and then what i like to do is i take my serum so depending on like i have a few different serums because i got like the little mini four pack from fourth ray so that i could try them all out um and see which ones i liked and honestly out of all of them i think i really really like the radiate one which is the one i use in the daytime at night though i haven't found one that i really love i've heard good things about this one so this one is called reveal so this one as you guys can see is a nighttime serum it has a little moon right there this is supposed to help to refine and resurface the skin it has 10 percent aha to give you more clarity and reveal smoother skin and a more radiant complexion so you're supposed to only use this one at night because of the um alpha hydroxy acid in it I don't really notice that big of a difference. I honestly kind of like the Pixie one better, but the Pixie one is stickier, which is the only thing I don't like about it. So I'm gonna take two drops of it, and then I mix it in with the Kate Somerville Biomimic and Peptide. This is gonna help to smooth and firm the skin. This you can use AM and PM, which is usually what I do. You can use it alone or with other um, serums or moisturizer. So I just mix it in with my serum. So I take one drop of this. And I really, really like this stuff. I've noticed a difference. And then I just pat it into my skin. Usually I do the chest too, but you know, I'm trying to be a little modest here. I take the my moisturizer. So this is the daily from Fourth Ray, and I have been obsessed with this. So this has squalene, but it's gonna be good for like antioxidants. It's gonna really moisturize the skin, and it kind of like 
replenishes the skin barrier because of the squalane. So that's a plant-based like version of squalene. So I take it like about that much because this stuff is really, really concentrated. And the thing I love the most about this is it almost gives you like a cooling sensation. And I feel like it's really good for all skin types. It's not too heavy. And it smells so nice. And then I always do an eye cream. I feel like by the time you're 18, you should be using an eye cream. Just because the skin around your eyes is so delicate. And I know like some people are like against eye creams because they say that eye creams don't do anything, that you could just use a moisturizer. You're just like kind of defeating the purpose. But I feel like eye creams are almost a little bit thinner. So they're not as heavy around the eye. Um, so I, I personally like it. If you're against it, you don't have to do this stuff then. This is the daily eye cream from Fourth Ray. It's their first ever eye cream and it has the same ingredients. And I think it has shea butter in it too. I always use my little ring finger because it gives you the lightest pressure. And I just put it right along the like bone of my eye right here. And I always put it on my bone above too. I know some people don't do that, but I just feel like I don't want this to sag, so I do. So I pretty much put it on all the bone around my eye. And then as you blink, it's gonna start to transfer up. If you put it too close to your like eyelid, which I've done before in the past by mistake, it burns. If I have some leftover, I always put it around my lip because I feel like the lips can always use extra moisture so that way you don't get any lines and I also put them on my smile lines because now that I'm getting older I have smile lines that's what I get for being a happy person and then the last step that I do uh, product wise is I tend to use some kind of an oil the one that I really have been loving a lot which I'm surprised with is the rose hip oil from fourth ray since using this one I've noticed like the clarity in my skin has looked a lot better my skin hasn't looked as congested either and it's really helped to lock in the moisture and then what I also do I mostly do this like if my skin is really congested or like I said if I'm wearing makeup this is the after hours detox facial oil so this one you only use at night at night so this one has charcoal in it so it's gonna help to detox the skin um so I take like about one or two drops of it it looks kind of scary because it's black but it actually is an oil so I mix both of those oils together and then I press it into my skin and I really focus it on the areas that get congested which is my t-zone and I also have a little like wrinkle on my forehead right here. So I try to like massage it into there. I try to massage it right here where I tend to like furl, furl my eyebrows. How do you say that? So that's pretty much it for the products. And then what I like to do as an added bonus is I like to take some kind of a roller. This one's my favorite. This one is from Cosmetics. Um, it has like these little massagers on here. You can do like a jade roller or the rose quartz roller if you want to, but I love this one because I feel like I'm getting like a little mini massage. And I can't, I will say sometimes I am kind of rough with it, but it's just because I like how it feels. So if you have like a skin fridge, it'll be really, really nice. But all I do is I start side to side first. That's just gonna kind of push everything this way so if you have any puffiness or if you've eaten a lot of salt or anything like that it's gonna kind of depuff the skin and drain the lymphatics in the skin and just push it outwards so we're gonna do the same thing on this side and then I'm gonna go upwards on my forehead kind of like as a burst again I try to be gentle around my eyes and I also try to get my nose too because your nose absorbs a lot of like water retention. I can almost like feel like the lymphatics draining. Then I go up like this. I guess I'm technically going up and down but it's mostly like in upwards motions. I really try to focus it on my little wrinkles. I also go along my jawline here because nobody wants a double chin and I notice that this really chisels me. I really focus right here because this is where things tend to drain and then 
I always do my neck right here. I can feel everything just draining. Like I can almost feel it from here, just like it drains. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels good. It's very relieving. As you guys can see, I kind of do it like a mad person. I'm sorry. I know that I can't iron out my wrinkles. Okay. I saw Jessica Alba doing this once and she looks amazing, so. so that's pretty much it for my nighttime skincare routine when I have makeup on. When I don't have makeup on, I usually switch this out to the waterfall toner because more moisturizing. I usually don't double cleanse, so I only do the one cleanser. And just depending on my skin, I might not do this oil. Um, and I also don't do this. So that is pretty much it for my nighttime skincare routine. I know it is pretty excessive, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all the products that I use down below, and then I'm going to put the products that you that are like my must-haves and the products that are just extra. So that way you guys can kind of see what products I highly recommend, like I think that are a must, at least for me. I do have oily, well, I do have combination skin, very oily in the T-zone here, and somewhat on the forehead, really dry up here, kind of dry right here, kind of normal on my chin, but I tend to break out a lot there. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night if you're watching this at night. And um, let me know down below what videos you guys would like to see from me next. And also be on the lookout for my morning skincare routine. I promise it is way less steps, a lot more easier because in the morning, I don't have the energy for all this stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then.